everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Ariel and I am the owner of Aribea Sticker Shop. Today I'm going to be showing you some new things that I picked up from Hobonichi because I made another order uh, during their Discover sale. So um, I got some covers that I've been wanting for a long time, but uh, they are covers from past collections that they have released. Before I show you some of the covers, I'll just quickly go through some of the accessories that I got. Oh, before I forget, I did get this sheet of stickers as well that um, came during this sale period. And I also picked up these. These are the Hobonichi like, Slim Notebooks. Uh, and I picked them up in the week's size. Let me just get this out of the packaging. So this set of notebooks has Tomoe River Paper on the inside. Uh, but these are just little notebooks that you can fit inside your weeks. Um, I thought this would be really nice to um, organize my finances. I'm currently using my Hobonichi Weeks right now. The memo pages in the back as a checkbook register as well as breakdown of some of my finances. But I thought that it would also be nice to have a collection of these. So maybe starting next year I'll put my finances in here so I can use the um, grid pages in the back of the Hobonichi Weeks for something else. This set comes with three notebooks, as you can see, and they all have the same uh, number of pages, and inside is the regular gridded paper, like in the regular weeks. So I just went to quickly grab my Hobonichi Weeks. It's currently in a print Prussians cover, um, but I just wanted to show you how it is just a little bit smaller than the Hobonichi Weeks size, so you can tuck it in. So ideally you'll be able to tuck maybe one side into that and it will fit perfectly uh, within your Hobonichi Weeks, which I think is really cute. So I decided to pick these up during the sale because I thought they would be quite functional and I think they're a good size to put maybe like health stuff or finance stuff inside of them, so we'll see how I decide to use them. Um, also during the sale I did pick up a lot of um, like clear covers, so I picked up some for my A6 planners. Uh, I needed a new cover on cover for this one. Uh, this is my Sora check cover, which you guys know I still really, really love. Um, but I don't have a clear cover on it because I'm currently using it on my camp cover. So I'm going to put that on a little bit later. So I picked up three cover on covers for the A6 size. And then I also picked up three covers for the A5 because I wanted to stock up. And now I can show you the covers that I decided to purchase from the sale, which I'm so excited about. So you guys know that I really enjoy Mina Perhonen designs. Um, I'm still obsessed with the Sora check, and I do have the um, Minamo cover. And I do also have this butterfly pattern, which is also from Mina Perhonen. So I decided to purchase a zip cover from them. So this cover was from a past collection, as I mentioned. All of the covers that I'm hauling are from previous years. Let me just take it out of the packaging. So this cover is my very first zip cover, and um, the fabric here is from Mina Perhonen. You can see that it does have a leather pull here, and it has the same butterfly that is on my drawer pouch here. I'm excited to open this. I really like the colors of this. Uh, by the way, the name of this uh, cover is called Jelly. I think that this cover is a little bit more playful than some of the other uh, Mina Perhonen designs that I have. Apparently I do have a thing for checkered planners because um, I really like this check in here and I do also have the gingham covers uh, from this past year's lineup. So sticking with that theme I decided to get this cover which has a lot of checkered on it and it does have some of my favorite colors on here. I am very much a pink girl but I've heard from other people that um, they think that I am a blue and green girl, which is really interesting actually. I also really like that it has some blues in here and of course the yellow makes it pop. So this is a really, really gorgeous cover. It is my very first zip cover. Oh, I really like this embroidery on the front as well. I think that's really nice. Oh, there's even one on the back. So let's open this up. I haven't opened it yet. so. Let's see the inside. So the inside is this very, very pretty, like, it's not a mustard yellow, but it is sort of like a muted yellow. It matches, um, it almost matches the front uh, cover here, but I think it's a little bit 
uh, more on the muted side. Oh, this is really nice. Okay, so in the front here, there is a Mina Perhonen card. This cover is from the 2016 collection. It says on that card here, and I think it should say on this one as well. Yeah, 2016 collection. So as this is my very first zip cover, let's quickly see what this looks like. You do still get the um, two bookmarks that are in all of uh, the Hobonichi covers. This one feels slightly thicker than the ones that I normally have. So these aren't ribbons, they're actual like fabric. Uh, you, let's see over here. So there is a pocket on the side here, which you don't normally get, and there is another pocket here. Uh, so that's very, very spacious. Uh, these slots, you get one card slot, two card slots, three. This one goes all the way down, and then you get two other pockets here. So this sort of reminds me of the pocket configuration of the um, Hobonichi Cousin, because there is uh, these two divided with the smile pocket. And then on this side, there is another pocket here, so you can put your notebooks uh, in these two pockets. But there's also a space over here. Uh, there is a mesh pocket, so you can put other things that you like in here. There is no zipper on it, but it does have just like this leather flap over top. It also has the pen loop attached. Oh, here you can also see the Hobonichi uh, tag. It does say 2016. That was when they used to write the years on their tags, but now it's just um, the regular Hobonichi name. And then in the very back here, you can see that there is a large pocket. I think this is really cool. You can put, um, if you're using this for journaling, you can put sort of like larger pieces of paper and scrapbooking stuff in here. And as you can see, it is um, fully lined with that yellow leather. I think this cover is really interesting and very unique. So I'm excited to use it. I think I'm planning on moving my journal in here. We'll see. I kind of, whenever I look at this planner, I do think that it is more of a, um, like, autumn planner. I think it's just because of the colors, but I'm going to move in, I'm going to move into it now for spring and see how I like it. I'm really excited about this one. Oh, I forgot to put back in the little cards. The zipper, by the way, is nice. I think it will get a little bit more smooth um, as I use it. By the way, this is a little random, but I do think that all Hobonichi like, zip covers are just a little bit like squishy. So I kind of just squished it and you can see <laughs> my fingerprints in it, but it bounces up um, once I rub it away, so that's cool. I will have to be a little bit careful with this because I don't have a clear cover on it, uh, which is normal for zip cover, so uh, that is the jelly cover. Let's move on to another one. So the next cover I purchased was one from a more recent uh, lineup. I think this is from the 2019 collection, and this is the Pastel Stripes. I got it in A5. Uh, let me just take it out of the packaging. So I really liked the colors in this Pastel Stripes cover design. Um, I really like how bright this yellow is, but the background is sort of like a gray color. I wanted to pick this up when it was first released, but I think that I didn't have a budget at that time. So I decided to just maybe pick up one or two covers that year, and I wasn't in A5 at that time. So this has the exact same uh, pocket configuration as all of the other A5 covers. There is a back pocket here, which is fully lined. Um, the front is uh, just the design. And then on the inside, this is what it looks like. So there are two slots here to put in your notebook. Let me take out my um, bookmarks here. They're also matching the same color. There is one small pocket here, uh, one larger pocket here, and then one, two, three, four card slots, a smile pocket that goes all the way down, and then two other small ones. And yep, yeah, I was right. It is from the 2019 collection. I really like the interior of this planner. It's sort of like a... Uh, bluey greeny color. It's not a mint. I think on camera it's picking up more blue, but it's definitely more um, almost on the greenish side. They do have an A6 version of this cover and a slightly different uh, color variation. The reason why I got this only was because I think that the A5 Hobonichi cover uh, collection in general is a lot smaller than their A6, and their A6 covers are generally a lot nicer. <laughs> I think that's just because the A6 size is more popular in Japan um, for Hobonichi, so that's why they come out with more covers like that. Um, 
but I wanted to pick this one up because I knew I liked it and now that I am in um, my Hobonichi Cousin I'll be able to use this more often. Like I said I also picked up clear cover on covers to use with these so I am happy with this. So the last two covers I got are matching covers and I picked up an A6 as well as an A5. So I think that both of these covers are from the World Folk Pattern Collection and of course this one is the Japan edition so let's show the A6 one first or let's just take them both out of the packaging. So these covers are from the 2017 collection, both of them, and I remember really wanting these covers but I think they were sold out uh, when I first made my purchase which was also in 2017 but in September so their new lineup was already um, being released. So I was so shocked to see these back on the website because I really wanted these covers for a very long time. Um, and I've seen them on Etsy and stuff like that, but uh, I think the price was a little bit more than what I paid for for these now. This is the A6 size cover. I really like the blue and the cloud design here. It does still have the back pocket and it is lined. And then on the inside here it is, uh, well Hobonichi calls it a fox brown color. I'm definitely going to put a clear cover on cover on this. These are the bookmarks that are matching in the same color. Now this is the exact same configuration as all of the other Hobonichis. So you put your books in here, you get another side pocket, um, one of these small pockets which has some wording on the inside there. Uh, another slip pocket here, one, two, three, four card slots, and then a smile pocket here. Of course all of the regular covers also have these uh, pen loops or closures. I like using them as pen loops personally, so yeah, I'm so excited about this cover. I'm definitely going to move in right away. I think I'm going to move my A6 Day Free in here, um, and then this Mina will be my journal. This cover, by the way, is called the Imaki Sky, and then this one here is called um, Imaki Peach, which is this gorgeous pink color. I really like the combination of the pink and the green, um, so I'm going to move into this right away. The interior here is a very, very bright green. You might not be able to see the color perfectly in here because, like I said, it's a very gray day today, so I had to turn on the light. But I will take more pictures of this, of course, um, and you'll see them a lot on my feeds. Uh, so the bookmarks here, again, are in matching colors. This leather looks like it's a little bit more olive toned uh, versus the cover, which I think is still okay. This pocket configuration is the same as the last one that I showed you. And again, 2017 collection. I'm really excited to have both of these covers in my collection because I've been wanting them for years and I've been looking for them like online and on eBay and stuff like that but I think these are sort of more rare. I think in a past sale they re-released this cover um, but they didn't have this one. As soon as I saw both of these on the Hobonichi website I knew I had to make another order. Alright so I'm going to wrap up. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'm excited to have all of these um, covers in my collection. I'm probably going to move into a few of them right now. I just need to put on the cover on covers. I will be taking more pictures of all of these covers um, for my Instagram as well so that is linked down below if you guys want to see that. Um, but I guess I will end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!